Welcome back to the Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. Pete Bursich here, bringing you film studies on all of the Vikings 2020 draft picks. Our next guy, selected in the seventh round, 244th overall, may be a little bit familiar to some of you Gopher fans out there, and that's Nate Stanley, quarterback from the University of Iowa. Now, Stanley does a lot of things well. There are only a handful of people out there who can really assess and I think predict how well guys are going to do, especially at the quarterback position. I think Stanley, however, brings some nice attributes to the table, and I think it's going to be an interesting preseason to see whether or not he can beat out Jake Browning for the third position or maybe even move further up that depth chart. One of the things you're going to notice first about Nate Stanley is he has the requisite size to be a quarterback in the NFL. It's six foot four, 235 pounds, and with what Coach Kubiak says is a strong arm, I think he can press and do and sit in that pocket and be and have a good pocket presence. On this first play, you're going to notice his ability to diagnose coverage and get the ball exactly where it's supposed to be. Now, he's seeing a type of cover eight scheme on the front side, and you'll see the one safety that's sitting above the tight end. He sees the tight end. What the safety doesn't know is he has this post route coming in right behind him. This is the classic cover eight beater, and Stanley, in this case, executes it perfectly. He sees it, sets up, throws a deep ball, and it's complete. Now, one of the things, one of the criticisms of Stanley coming into this draft is that he only averaged 6.4 yards per completion in his college career. Now, you're going to see a lot of good throws and a lot of deep balls and a lot of some good runs after catch. So I don't necessarily think that that's going to be much of a problem for him. Now, Iowa, Iowa State, one of the biggest rivalries. They're saying, hey, just let the big guy take it and jam up the middle and score that touchdown. So a big kid, again, 6'4", 235 with the requisite toughness. Another example against Northwestern, he gets what appears to be a two deep style of coverage. As you can see, two safeties, both of them standing on each of the hash marks, but then they throw a blitz at him. So he doesn't quite know where the blitz is coming from, but he knows he's gonna have this curl route down at the bottom of your picture wide open. And what's great is he lets this ball go just as the receiver gets into his break. Now, at the, at the next level, that ball is going to need to be in the air before the receiver makes his break. But he hits the receiver on a good curl, good timing. Receiver breaks a tackle, gets to the second level, and then scores. Now, Stanley finished second in Iowa history with 68 touchdowns, 8,302 yards. So the kid has plenty of experience at quarterback and has done a really nice job. All right, another big throw by Stanley here. And again, his ability to read coverage and know exactly what's going to come open. And it's similar to earlier. You see the tight end kind of curling up on the hash mark. And the deep safety in the middle of the field needs to be concerned about the receiver up on top. As you can tell, the corner is outside of that receiver. Now, as soon as that safety squats and Stanley sees him squat, he's going deep to the post over the top. Again, another classic cover eight style route. And I love the way he can diagnose down the field. That's what he's gonna have to do at the next level. But he's gonna have to do it a little bit more quickly. And again, these bang routes, these, these eight beaters, these post routes, his ability to throw the football on time and hit these receivers in stride, I think is gonna bode well for him in the preseason this year. All right, so how athletic is the big fella? Well, let's take a look. He's athletic enough. He has enough of the enoughs. He's tall enough. He's big enough. And right here, you can see he's fast enough. He fakes the dive, pulls that thing out, and ends up running the option, which is a, a really nice deal because the defense was not ready for it at all, able to move the chains. Now, he's not going to be an option style of quarterback. He's just too big, and I don't think he's, he's really fast enough for that style of play. However, he's athletic enough to move in the pocket, and at times, when he has to scramble to get the first down, he has the speed in order to do so. All right, in the bowl game, this is a man-to-man -man style beating route where you have the underneath receiver, and their DBs here try to pass this thing off, but he does a wonderful job of seeing that the slot defensive back gets turned around. He can't quite turn and keep up with the quickness of the wide receiver. So protection's good, standing tall in the pocket, delivers the ball, the receiver catches it pretty much in stride. 
Nice read and again, nice throw. He's going to be required to make these kind of tight throws in the middle of the field. And he does a wonderful job of reading coverage and putting the ball right where it needs to be. Finally, in the bowl game again, Iowa, a two-back style of offense. Kubiak mentioned that. Pretty similar to what we want to run at the next level. Maybe a little bit of a different type of running play. But just a straight drop back here. He gets the blitz. He knows he doesn't have a lot of time. And this is what you see in the NFL. When you blitz, you try to burn them and burn them deep. And in this case, he does that. He knows he has one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, throws that ball deep into the outside. It's the accuracy, down the field accuracy while under pressure is what separates the men from the boys in the NFL. We've seen Kirk Cousins do it a ton of times. So great, again, diagnosing the play, seeing what's coming, knowing that he has a free defender coming to hit him, burn him on the outside with a great throw. So a nice, deep throw, accurate, down the field, while under pressure. A lot of impressive things about this young man, and I think he's going to make a really, really hard push to be the number three, maybe even the number two quarterback.